Good evening. This is the second week, so we are going to start with week number two. Uh, we are um, beginning this new session. Uh, this is the session number five. So we are in the way to complete this, uh, this whole thing in a couple of days. If you can see, we are uh, almost in the middle of the way. So we are very, very um, near the end of this uh, session. And maybe you are thinking uh, that is not right because uh, we are just in the session number five. But if you remember the last week, you can see that uh, we end that four days very, very uh, fast. So I guess this week is going to be the same thing. We are just going to have like a very quick time in which we're going to have the sessions. So that's why I'm saying that we are going to have a very short time uh, with this, uh, like with this module, it's going to be very fast, I guess, or maybe it's, it is not, but we are in the second week that's uh, the middle of the whole thing. Um, we are going to have uh, two more weeks after this one, and we are going to have uh, different topics that we are going to develop uh, during this week and also the other two. But uh, in this uh, week, we are going to see different topics. And in this case, we are going to begin with a grammatical topic. We are going to see a very specific um part of a speech, we can say part of a speech. And also we are going to see a very specific topic that is related uh, for words that we use a lot when we are uh, talking in English, but in some cases we are not sure about the use of these words or even we are not like, uh, we're not thinking about these words or the use of these words or what is the name of these words. We use those words just like uh, something very natural. So in this case, we are going to talk about that topic and we are going to see what is the use of that specific uh, information. And also we are going to see uh, some examples we are going to see a conversation, or in this case, we are going to see and listen a conversation. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. And we are going to have some exercises related to the topic, because in this case, we are uh, going to be very conscious about the use of these words and why are they very important when we are talking in English. They are a very uh, useful part. Um, that we use when we are talking, but in some cases we um, don't know uh, how we learn this kind of words. But um, we're not complete, but we are going to uh, begin with this uh, session because you know that we just have one hour and in this case we have like four minutes already. So in this case, the time is going very, very fast. So we are going to be like uh, five minutes from the beginning of this session. So we are going to begin right now. So for this week, we have the following uh, a statement and it says, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing. So in this case, this is the phrase that we are going to use for this week, for these four days. In your case, it's for the whole week, almost like six days. Y habla de que el éxito no es un accidente, no es algo que sucede solo porque sí. Es trabajo duro, perseverancia, aprendizaje, estudiar mucho, sacrificar cosas y más que todo amor a lo que nosotros estamos haciendo. So in this case, you need to be very like conscious about that when we are doing something, when we want to achieve something, we need to, to do a lot of things. And in this case, we are talking about these, uh, these actions that is working really, really hard is to have or or the perseverance 
is learning a lot of things, learning a lot of new things that maybe you are not uh, thinking about to learn, but you know that we are learning every single day new things, is to uh, study uh, different methods, uh, different things that we can do to improve the work that we are doing, is to sacrifice time, sleep, uh, I don't know, different things. We need to sacrifice something to achieve a goal. And of course, the most important thing is love what you are doing. We need to love the things that we are doing. We need to know the importance of the things that we are doing. And we are going to find the way. And we are not going to suffer in the process. So that's why we have this uh, phrase for this week that the success is no accident. We need to do a lot of things to achieve our goals. Now, we are in the second week, I was saying like a couple of minutes ago. We are in the second week and we are going to begin with a grammatical topic. You can see the name on the document. That is the demonstrative adjectives. So we're going to talk about four different adjectives that are called demonstrative adjectives and we are going to see what are the uses and um, how can we use in a conversation um, some examples and also we are going to have an exercise well in this case we are going to have two exercises vamos a hablar de lo que son los adjetivos demonstrativos cuál es el uso cuáles son esos adjetivos um, cómo podemos utilizarlos en una conversación eh, ¿Cómo quedan en una frase? Vamos a ver diferentes cosas. Vamos a tener información y vamos a tener ejemplos al mismo tiempo. Vamos a tener dos ejercicios sobre los demonstrative adjectives. But first, we are going to listen a conversation um, related to this topic. In this conversation, you are going to see um, the use of these words. You are going to see how can we use those words in a conversation, in a casual conversation, and you are going to see what are the demonstrative adjectives. Well, well, in this case, we're, maybe if you have the information about the demonstrative adjectives, you are going to um, like find really fast what are the demonstrative adjectives on the conversation. But if you don't have the information, don't worry, we are going to talk about the demonstrative adjectives today. So we're going to listen the conversation. That is the first thing that we are going to do. And then we're going to talk about what are the demonstrative adjectives and we are going to see what are the four different uh, demonstrative adjectives that we are going to see today. So let's begin with this session with the first conversation. And we find this conversation on the section number three of the platform but give me a second because it's charging okay so we are at the beginning of the section number three so we are going to see what is this conversation about so we are going to pay attention and then we are going to like have a conversation related to this information so let's pay attention Section three, what is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, we have the conversation here that is a conversation between two people that are chopping something. 
but in this case we are also seeing that the uh, woman is like uh having a, her birthday and in this conversation i'm going to take this one to the document because we are going to see uh, some details about the conversation so give me a second I'm taking the image to the document. Okay, in this case, I'm going to put the information of the conversation here. And we are going to do something. Okay, that's better. Okay, here's the conversation. And we have here the information. Uh, we have two people that is on a shop, maybe they are like uh, buying something. And we have here that a uh, Steven Mary, or in, in this case, Steven Maria, are having a conversation between the things they have on the shop. So in this case, Steve said, oh, look at those earrings maria they are perfect for you these red ones i'm not sure no the yellow ones oh these um yellow isn't really a good color for me well that necklace isn't bad which one that blue one right there how much is it it's 42 that's expensive Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. So in this case, we are talking about things that we have in uh, the place in which we are. Now, we're going to see what are the uh, demonstrative adjectives in this conversation. We have four words that function as demonstrative pronouns or adjectives in this case. So we're going to see what is the information that we have. And in this case, we have four main words, uh, but we are going to see two more. We are going to add two extra words. So in this case, we are going to see the demonstrative pronouns. But let me like this. Okay, we are going to see what are the demonstrative pronouns and you are going to uh, recognize the words that we have on the conversation. A través de lo que vamos a ir viendo sobre los demonstrative pronouns, ustedes van a entender cuáles son las palabras o cuáles son los demonstrativos y dónde están ubicados en la conversación. So it says that a pronoun, so just, this one is just like to remember the information. Uh, a pronoun is a word that takes the place of a proper or common noun. Uh, they make sentence shorter and easy to say. Eso ya lo sabemos. Los pronombres son palabras que toman el lugar de un nombre común o propio. Obviamente ellos hacen las eh, oraciones más cortas y también mucho más fáciles de decir. So that's why we use the pronouns uh, in this case. Um, and we cannot use like the proper nouns because they make the sentence kind of longer. So in this case, it's just to have this uh, kind of easy pronunciation of the statements. And a demonstrative pronoun is a word that takes the place of a particular object or people. And we are going to see what are the words. Así que un, de, un, de, un pronombre demostrativo es una palabra que toma el lugar de un objeto en particular o de una persona. It's not the same with the pronoun as we said at the beginning because in the case of the pronouns is a word that takes place of a proper noun. And the a demonstrative pronoun take the place the place of the object or the people.
So we are going to see what are the words that we can use as um, demonstrative pronouns. And we have here, listen this one. This, that, this, those. Y vamos a agregar dos más. Here and there. So in the conversation, we have these words. Because at the beginning, we said, look at those earrings. Look at those earrings. Y aquí tenemos those. También tenemos this, this red ones. Y tenemos por acá this red ones. Um, oh, this. Luego tenemos también that necklace. And we have here that, um, what else? Yes, in this case, we use that as like the most. Utilizamos that como la mayoría, ¿verdad? La mayoría de, um, de, or de oraciones que están en la conversación. Entonces, tenemos estas palabras que son las que vamos a estar utilizando. This, that, this, those here and there. And these ones are the demonstrative pronouns. So, in this case, we are going to have a short conversation in which you are going to see what are the use that we can give to these uh, words. Vamos a tener dos pequeñas conversaciones para que ustedes vean cómo se utilizan estas palabras en una conversación en, digamos, en un día cualquiera. So, Examples. We have Anna and we have Lee. And we are going to begin with Anna. And they said, could you give me that pencil on the table over there? Could you give me that pencil? on the table over there. So in this first sentence, we have two of these words. We have this one. We are going to mark this and also there. And this one said, Lisa, do you mean do you mean this pencil here? Do you mean this pencil here? Again, we are using two. We have this one. And we have this one. And Anna said again, yes, that pencil. And we are going to mark this one. Lee again, here you are. Here you are. Oh, could you give me those pens on the table over there? And we have again other two words in this statement. We have those and again there.
And we end this example with Anna. And she said this. Sure, here you are. Okay, in this conversation, it, you can see it's very uh, basic conversation. We are not having like a really long conversation. We are not adding like very uh, like different things. In this case, we're just uh, talking about something that we have in that moment. And in this case, we need to be very sure I mean, be very clear about the use of these words. Aquí tenemos el uso de esas palabras en una conversación común y corriente que podemos tener en cualquier momento cuando estamos trabajando. Ah, pásame esos eh, lápices o pásame esos papeles que están allá o podría darme estos eh, o estas revistas. So in that case, we are having this kind of conversation and that's why I was saying at the beginning of the session that in some cases, we are not like very conscious about the, the use of those words. It, because we, uh, when we are learning uh, English, we uh, like want to use uh, the um, a specific like connection between one idea and the other. And in some cases we use this kind of words and we are not like very sure why but they sound correct, they are making my idea clear, and that's why I am using these kind of words. Aquí es donde utilizamos estas palabras de manera inconsciente, a veces no estamos tan seguros cómo es que nosotros pues creamos una idea o una conversación con estas palabras, sino que simplemente se va dando de manera natural. But in this case, you know that they are very important because we are like, uh, talking about some words that help me to identify different things. Me está ayudando a identificar, ¿verdad? Diferentes eh, ideas y diferentes cosas. So, in that case, we need to, to practice using these words um, when we are having a conversation. And also, uh, think about how many times do you use these kind of words. Cuando tengamos una conversación o ustedes estén practicando una conversación, piensen en cuántas veces han utilizado las palabras que tenemos ahí. That, this, this, those, here, and there. And you are going to see that you, you use these kind of words a lot. Vamos a ver la conversación número dos. And here we have Felix and Marco. And in the first one, we have Felix. Is there a hammer on the table? Is there a hammer on that table? And Marco said, yes, there is. Here it is. Yes, there is. Here it is. So it said, Great, are there any nails? And Marco said, No, there aren't. And Felix and this conversation saying, Oh, here they are next to me on this table. Okay, we have another uh, interesting conversation because this one is another casual conversation that we can have. 
uh, when we are working or something like that. So we can have this kind of conversation. And there is very easy to understand that we are using those words when we are having this kind of conversation. Okay, so this is the last one. So here we have the examples of the use of the different words, like these demonstrative pronouns that we can have in a like a um, casual conversation when we are like with our friends or something like that. So we are going to divide the information into uh, every one of these demonstrative pronouns. We are going to see eh, all of them, but in separate ways. Vamos a verlos de manera separada. Vamos a ir viendo uno por uno. Eh, ¿Qué es o cuál es el uso que se le da a cada uno de ellos? Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos. Y ya iremos viendo los demás one by one. So, we are going to begin, but I'm going to make like a, like this. So we're going to see the first one that is this. We're going to make like this. And we're going to see this one. So this one said that the pronoun this is used to refer to a singular object which is near the speaker or here. Estamos hablando de que eso se usa para referirnos a objetos singulares. Quiere decir que solo hablamos de una sola cosa. Y obviamente ese objeto tiene que estar cerca de la persona que habla, o sea, en mi caso tendría que ser cerca mío o en este lugar donde yo estoy. So we're going to see an example. Okay, we have the following example and it says, this is sweet. This is sweet. So in this case, we are not like specifying what is the, this thing because we are using the, um, the demonstrative pronoun and we are talking about something that is sweet. So in this case, we can talk about different um, fruits or something that we are eating. Aquí estamos hablando de algo que es dulce. Esto es dulce. But we are going to talk about uh, different things. In this case, you can uh, think about one specific uh, fruit or something like that. In my case, I have here uh, this one. I have an apple. So in this case, I, I can say, this is sweet. This is sweet. Esto es dulce. But I am talking about the apple. In this case, in your case, you can talk about a strawberry, you can talk about a banana, you can talk about um, a pear, a peach, um, uh, an orange, a uh, tangerine, something like that. Or even you can talk about something that, that you are drinking and you can say, ah, this is sweet and you are talking about a juice. But in my case, this is water. So that is not sweet. But you are using this kind of words to refer to something that is near you. So it is in the same place as you. 
If this apple is in another room, that is not the use of this word. Si esta manzana estuviera en otro lugar, ya no estaría yo utilizando esta palabra, estaría utilizando otra. Pero en este caso, pues estamos hablando de cosas que están cerca mío. Then we have another example, and this one said, can I, can I please have this? Can I please have this? So imagine that you are on a shop, están en una tienda, and you want something, you can use this kind of phrases. Can I please have this? Puedo, por favor, tenerlo, puedo tenerlo. And in this case, uh, imagine that is this thing, this one. It's a slime with a frog inside. It's like a, a present. This one is a present. But I have this, like, it's very funny because you have the, the frog inside of the bottle. So imagine that I am in a shop and I want this object and I said, can I please have this? What I am talking about, about this one. Estoy hablando de este objeto. Entonces, yo le estoy diciendo que si lo puedo tener. And I am talking about something that I have in the same place I am in in that moment. So, in this case, we have two different examples of things that we have near us or in the same place. Now, you are going to think about one sentence using the word this. And we are going to make a list of examples. So, we have here the exercise. And it's try to make your own sentence using the pronoun this. Vamos a hacer nuestras propias eh, oraciones utilizando el pronombre this. Vamos a tener un par de minutos, like four minutes, and you are going to write your sentence on the chat, and then I'm going to make a list of words, I mean, a list of sentences using these, vamos a utilizar esta primera, no vamos a utilizar ninguna de las otras. Vamos a utilizar esta que tenemos marcada acá y vamos a hacer una, una tan sola oración utilizando esa palabra. Entonces, we are going to have four minutes and then you are going to write your example. Tenemos cuatro minutos, van a escribir su ejemplo en el chat y yo lo voy a ir escribiendo en el documento. So, let's think about a sentence with the pronoun this.
Okay, we have a, a couple of statements on the chat. So we are going to uh, begin with, with those examples. So we are going to see what are the examples that we have there. And this one said, this is my computer. Very good. Next one, this is my pillow. Okay, let's see what more. Um, okay, but we are going to do something uh, with this example. I like this shoe, just one, because we are talking about a singular. This this door is narrow. This book is big but beautiful. This is my house. This car is broken. Is this your pencil? I need this book. Can you open this box? This is my favorite ice cream. This pen is yours. This watch belongs to Daniel. Okay. So we have a couple of statements and they are very good. Excellent. Thank you for your participation. So we have here a couple of examples more related to the use of this word. We are going to see the second one. We are going to talk about that. So we have here that, that is number two. Yeah. Okay, we have here the information. Yeah. And this one said, the pronoun that is used to refer to a singular object which is far from the speaker or there. En el primero ya veíamos que eh, se trata de una palabra para objetos singulares. En el caso de that, we are going to say the same thing. Vamos a decir lo mismo, es para objetos singulares, solo uno. But in this case, the difference is that we use this word to talk about a, or to refer to a singular object which is far from the speaker, que es lejos de eh, donde está el hablante. En este caso, volvemos al ejemplo de la manzana. Si yo esta, tengo esa manzana lejos de donde yo estoy, en la siguiente habitación o en una mesa lejos de mí, I'm going to use the word that. That is my apple. Esa es mi manzana, pero obviamente está 
lejos de donde yo estoy. We are going to see some examples. And we have here the first one. Dar is small. In this case, we are talking about an object that we are seeing and we are referring to that information using this pronoun. For example, we can talk about the stars in the sky and we say that is small, that a star is small. That is like an example or that dog is small, that car, I mean that uh, three is small, that cat is small. Whatever thing we have uh, far from us that we're seeing in that moment, we can use this uh, kind of word. What is the second example? Is that him? Is that him? Ese es él. Es como queriendo preguntar, ¿verdad? Si alguien que estamos viendo lejos de nosotros es la persona de la que quizás estábamos teniendo una conversación. Is that him? So for this one, we are going to add more examples. But in this case, you are not going to do it. I'm going to uh, have more examples with the word that. But in this case, you're going to... Give me a sec. That is my dad. I like that shirt. Look, there is my car. Can you give me that last, please? That is your brother. Is that your book? Okay, there is my mom near that three. So we have more examples here. That is my dad. I like that shirt. Look, that is my car. Can you give me that glass, please? This is, uh, that is your brother. Uh, is that your book? 
there is my mom near that tree. So in this case, we have uh, some short examples related to the use of this word. Now we are going to see the word number three. And we are talking about this. So in this case, we are going to begin with plural words. This one is used to refer to more than one object, which is near the speaker. Aquí vamos a hablar de una o más cosas que están cerca de nosotros. Entonces, empezamos a hablar de los plurales, pero que siguen estando en el mismo espacio en el que estoy yo. And again, we are going to have two examples of this word. And then we are going to have more examples to, um, or in this case, like in which cases we can use this word. Okay, in the examples, we have the following sentences. These are heavy. These are heavy. And in this case, we can talk about different things. Um, like we have or we are talking about books, we are talking about boxes, we are talking about uh, children even. So in this case, we are talking about something that is heavy. Then we have another one that said, what are these? So we are seeing something and we want to know what are those things that we are seeing in that moment. But remember that these ones are in the same place in which we are in that in that moment. More examples. And we have here the following examples. We have, you will have to show me these beautiful flowers. How long will these mind games go on? These are my other two daughters. Dulce and Alondra. I'm talking about the safety of these people.
And the last one, how's your mother doing these days? How's your mother? doing these days. So we have here five different examples um, using this word. But also we can create a lot of uh, other examples using these words. Now we are going to see the number four. That is uh, the last word of the main uh, group of words that in this case, um, are the four main uh, demonstrative pronouns that in this case um, you have like six in this document but right now we are going to see the four main words and in this case we are going to see the number four. Tenemos cuatro eh, pronombres demonstrativos como quizás lo más eh, importantes en este caso vamos a ver cuatro que son los eh, principales, pero obviamente tenemos dos extras, pero ahorita vamos con los primeros cuatro. So in this case, we have number four, and is those. So it says that the pronoun those is used to refer to more than one object, which is far from the speaker. Es lo mismo que con los primeros dos, con el this y el that, que uno era para hablar de cosas que estaban cerca, que eran singulares, y el dad, pues obviamente hablaba de singulares, pero que estaban lejos. En cambio, estos dos son eh, quizás el, el, el relativo, ¿verdad? Esos dos, solo que en, en plural, y obviamente hablando de lo mismo. Porque this habla de plurales, pero que están en el mismo espacio en el que estamos nosotros. Y those habla igual de plurales, pero que están lejos de nosotros. And we have two examples. Example number one, those are funny. Those are funny. And the second one, I want three of those. I want three of those. So we have these examples here related to this information. And we're going to see more examples. We're going to, to have like very basic uh, sentences here. I'm going to write really short uh, statements. So in this case, we're not going to have like a uh, really long statement, just short uh, statement. So in the first one, those are my CDs. Those are my CDs. Those are my books. Those apples are big. Whose shoes are those? Whose shoes are those? Those glasses suit you. Those glasses suit you. Those flowers have died.
What did you do with those books? What did you do with those books? And one more. Both of those students, both of those students, didn't pass the test. So we have the examples of these words, or in this case, of those. So we are going to see the other two tomorrow eh, because we don't have enough time to complete eh, the whole eh, thing because we have six words. Eh, we are going to see the use of here and also the use of there. And we are going to do the other two exercises that we have. In this case, we are going to have like a paragraph that we need to, to read and complete and another activity that we are going to perform tomorrow. Así que vamos a tener dos actividades para el día de mañana y también tenemos el uso de otras dos palabras um, to complete this topic and the use of these uh, words in a real conversation. So, and in this case, we are almost done with this act. Uh, uh, with this session, or in this case, I can say that we are done with this session. So we're going to see each other um, tomorrow. So have a really good night and see you on the session two of this week number two. So have a really good night and see you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.